going to practice a few things with our hips. Our hips are actually fairly important in a kayak. What I want you to do is just to sit in your boat and try and make waves by rocking your boat side to side, side to side. That's the start of a hip snap. This is a very important thing to know when you're kayaking. It's the start of what we need to know for rolling, for strokes, for bracing. So we want to make sure that we're getting good at these hip snaps. Now don't tell anyone, but here's a little secret that I'll let you in on. To practice your hip snap, what you can do is to go over to someone's boat or the side of the dock. Now with two hands, put it on their boat or on the side of the dock. All right, next off, just go over using your two hands and then push yourself back upright using a strong hip snap. What we're looking for is to use more hips and less arm strength. In fact, the less arm strength you use, the better hip snap you've got. Now, your head wants to be in the water until the last possible moment. And as you come up, you actually want your head to be facing towards your hands. This is called a head dink. A head dink is where you get your head to go from one shoulder to the other. Okay, we're gonna try and get used to using less arm strength. We're gonna do that by actually going over using two hands but coming up using one hand only. You can go over using two hands, just as long as you try and come up using one hand. After you've done that, try and go over and this time come up only using four fingers. You know what's coming up next, try and go over and come up using only three fingers. I'm sure you know what to do next. Let's go over and try and come up only using three fingers. All right, the pressure's on. Let's go with two fingers. All right, here we go. Let's go over using two hands, but this time try and come up only using one finger. Remember to go over using two hands, but then when you're upside down, try and use only one finger. If you can come up using one finger, you've got an extremely strong hip snap. If you've come up using one finger, congratulations. You've just done a nice, strong hip snap. This is an extremely good technique for you to practice your hip snaps. If you're ever having trouble with your hip snaps, go back to this technique, it'll help you out a bunch. <laughs>